So, I just wanted to give you a quick video. Um, I installed Windows 10 recently, and um, actually this is a compact I have, but I was working on a Toshiba, and after I installed Windows 10, my, uh, my keypad uh, mouse wouldn't work. And, um, and I went over into the Windows X, brings up the uh, disk manager. The device manager, and I clicked on device manager, and uh, you come over here and you can see where it says uh, mice and pointing devices. And this one has a Synaptics uh, PS2 port touch pad, which is working perfectly. But you can go in there and you can right click on it. You have to use a standalone mouse, USB mouse, and you can go up to uh, drivers. And you can either roll back the driver, or if you have it working, you can go in and Google um, Windows 10. Drive for Drive the Life keyboard driver. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. And down here it's going to say free download and update keyboard and mouse driver. Open that up. And bring it up to this window, it's free download. Drive for Life. And you scroll all the way down, and it says download now. Once you download that, it's going to bring you up a drive to life. It's going to ask you if you want the uh, program to start for you. And it says start scan. Okay. And it's just telling me that I have a network driver that needs repair and a few other things. So actually, it's just a network driver that needs repair. But I can go in and actually repair this and back up my files. Um, on the mouse problem, you'll come down in here and it says drivers that need to be backed up. What you're going to do is you're going to select that, and over here, you go to download, you go to your touchpad, and then you would go to reinstall and click on it. And it's going to ask you to restart your computer, and after you restart your computer, your mouse pad should work for you. And I'm sorry this video was so choppy, but. I think you get the point. And I'll put the link to the site in the bottom. And hopefully this helps you. Thanks. Have a great day.